Hello everyone, this is Christina and in this video I'm going to demonstrate our manual trading backtester EA and what is the manual trading backtester and this EA is created uh, for those traders who does manual trading uh, for me personally I think if you have a system you're trading as long as you have a firm set of rules it can always be automated into an EA so I'm a firm believer in uh, electronic trading and without manual inter intervention however there's still a lot of uh, traders out there who does manual trading and also even if you have a firm sets of rules and before you wanted to automate your trading into a, a EA you might want to first test that system a little bit usually what we do is just to visually scan the history chart but you know that could be very uh, in <clears throat> ah god usually what traders usually do is to visually scan the history chart and manually calculate every trades entry and exit to to see if the system is profitable but the problem with that approach is typically it's not accurate okay and also we if we wanted to actually going to do forward testing it's very time consuming so with this EA we can actually have manual intervention um, so we can open and close trade manually but using the MT4 back tester this way we can significantly reduce the time we're going to test our manual strategy oh, okay let's start so basically here there's two sections for external variables first one is hotkey settings second is general settings under hotkey settings there's a few here for this EA I'm going to uh, provide like five basic functions one is for open a buy manually one is to open the sell manually so for you to have the MT4 open, uh, to simulate an action such as buy or sell you need to have some way to tell it in this case we're using a hot key and this key here you can specify anything and here it's also um, it's not case sensitive so B or B capital letter it means the same thing so see you user can specify all five actions which is open a buy order open a sell order and both are market order and then is close the buy order and then close sell order uh, close buy means close all the buys you have been opened because when you open buy you could open multiple buys buys depending on your system you can also multiple sales as well but when you use a close buy in this case my hot key for close buy I'm, t I'm setting it to zero that means as soon as you cl you click zero then all buys are closed um, close all sales in this case I'm using one uh, close all means close all orders regardless if it's by itself so basically we have supplied giving you uh, five possible actions and those are user defined you can use anything as long as it's either numbers or letters do not use any other uh, like those special uh, special characters so under general settings because first is open lot so whenever you um, open a trade of course EA needs to know what the lot size is and here I'm giving you two options one is using fixed lot here is defined by open lot the other one is to use money management and here we have used a, a um, 
when use auto lot to be true, and then every trade is going to be five percent. It's going to risk five percent of account balance. Okay, so here there's a money management integrated because it's um, for a lot of traders. This aspect is is important. And then EA can automatically insert a take profit for each trade and also stop loss for each trade. If you don't want to stop loss or take profit and set the corresponding value to zero. For example, I'm going to set stop loss to zero here, but take profit is 50. 50 means 50 pips. And with all the EAs we have provided here, a four or five digit broker is automatically detected. So 50 means 50 pips regardless what your broker digit is. And then we also provided two basic order management settings. Um, one is BE means break even. The other one is trailing stop. And both can be used or not used. If you don't want to use them, then put them to false. If you want to use it, BE point, once again, it's the point that EA is going to uh, move order stop loss to break even. And it's measured by pips again. So 25 means 25 pips. And use trailing stop if this is true. I'm going to make this to true though. So trailing stop, make this to true again in my testing. So trailing stop is 25 pips. We obviously know what trailing stop is. It's going to trail the highest profitable point by 25 pips. And trailing stop is how often um, your stop loss is going to revise. In this case, it's 25 pips, but it's going to be modified in every one pip interval. So basically, this trailing stop is actually a stepping trailing stop. And if I'm using this to 5, it's basically um, <clears throat> the stop is going to, mod to be modified in steps. When it's 25 profit, then stop losses break even. When it's 30 profit, then it's going to be 5, okay? And when it's between 20 to 30, then no stop loss is not going to be moved. And the last is, last is a function I provided here, display data. Data means it's the trading data, like a, um, <clears throat> a uh, basic calculation of your win, uh, win at lose, win at loss, and uh, how much that is going to be. I'm going to make this to uh, false first. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> so when I make the display data to be false and here is what's going to be displayed on chart first is tell you what the ea is and what is the ea that's being uh, put on chart and then it shows you all the five hotkey settings here just in case uh, when you're doing it you suddenly forget what is your setting so for buy is b sell is s Close by is zero, close sell is one, close all is C, okay? This is how it looks when this date display data is false. And now I'm going to make display data to be true. Then let's start. Let me put another um, template here. You can see I have a lot more being displayed and these are trade data is total realized profit loss, total number of trades, basically just an overview of what you're doing and also total winning trades and total realized profit from the winning trades and total losing trades realized from losing trades. And here is going to change as as time goes by when uh, when you start open and close trades, of course. And here is all um, based on the realized profit and loss is it will only change after order is closed. So in order to open trades, you need to uh, 
either have this be running. For example, right now is is running. Then if I hit B, then it will immediately open the by order. Of course, I cannot. You cannot see. I just I just used the hot key B. But because in this in this EA, when you click B, when you actually hit B on your keyboard, it means buy. So I open a buy trade, and also it's uh, it's a lot size I specified, and uh, it you can see it doesn't have stop loss, but it has take profit. This is also how I specified, and at any given point, you. Your、uh, manual trader, for example, now I can、uh, hit S on my keyboard. Now I open the cell. Now I have buy and sell. You can see here. Here is all zero because so far I haven't closed any trades. Let me just close my buy trade here. Then because close buy is zero, then I will hit zero here. Then my all my buy trade will be closed. Once there's Trades close, you can see these data to be updated in real time. So total realized profit is 14, and total number of trades. Th this actually is shows you how many trades has been closed. Okay, and winning trades and losing trade and and all the data to be displayed in here. So basically, that's what it is. So you can open the trades when you think you need to open, and you can close trade when you think you need to close. If you wanted to pinpoint the exact point you wanted to open and close, you can also put this to pause, and then hit the key. For example, right here, I want to open a buy trade. I just hit the key. You won't see this trade right away. You will see it next time when you. When you go forward, this is that that is a way、um, you can、uh, you can make sure your entry and exit is very very accurate. For example, now if I want to close all, see right now I have total of trades being closed is one. Now I have three trades in place. If I hit C, then all trades will all trades will be closed. So here's four, three winning and one losing. So So this is the overall. This is a consolidated overall win. Is adding all of these together. So in real time, you can see the performance of your trading here. And this, you can quickly test a long period of time and see if your your manual trading strategy actually、um, performs well or not. So now let's switch gear to talk about some of those、uh, semi-automatic trading、uh, systems. There's a lot of situations that we wanted to、uh, having a EA coded to open trades automatically, but we wanted to control the exit of the trade or reverse. We wanted to、uh, open a trade manually. Based on our own criteria, but having an EA to exit the trades and、uh, under certain programmed conditions, so those kind of semi-automatic trading systems、um, can be coded, and we have done lots of them. But there's the one one problem with those EA are generally they cannot be back tested. Because once again, the normal way of coding does not allow the manual、um, interference with the EA during the back testing process. But using the similar technique here, we can do that. So here, there's a there's a demonstrate a demonstration、uh, EA I have presented here. So this one, this EA. It's a it's a semi-automatic trading system. It's a demo. It's coded. It is very simple logic. The purpose is is just to demo demonstrate. And this one is the logic I've coded here. And the order opening process is automatic, and the order is generated based on two moving average cross. One is the fast MA. It's the five. Simple moving average, and once a slow MA is 40 simple moving average, 
and EA is going to open and close trade based on those moving average cross on the closed bar basis and then for closing of the trade so obviously you can still do the similar things as our previous EA letting the stop loss and take profit and break even trailing stop to take care of the closing or in this case you can manually close it whenever you want for example here we have three functions for closing so if user choose to do it manually they can do that close buy close sell and close all okay so let's start so let me first um, put on those two moving averages so we can see see now we have a 40 which is a long moving average then let me just get a 4 uh, using red this is a, a short moving average see here this way it's uh, it's quicker so this EA is a, remember it's a, a semi automatic EA and it does not allow you to open trades manually because the, and the EA is going to take care of that so now we have a buy so we open the buy and uh, so now it comes to now I open the sell again now I open the buy again because there's a brief uh, change here so now in terms of closing I could be controlling myself for example if I hit zero here then buy order is closed and if I hit um, the one here, sell order is closed. So you can see in this in this situation, um, it's a semi-automatic process because it's possible for me to control the closing um, by myself in this way. And also, it allows me to test my exit like a back tester so I does I don't have to spend a lot of time uh, like months or months and just to see if if my exit method works or not so this is just a demonstration so regardless if you you're a, a total automatic system or semi-automatic system or is a complete manual system they can all be tested in back tester okay so um if you have any comments on this ea related and please let me know thanks